in the news, the first American woman in space. When the shuttlecraft Challenger lifts off for its next trip into space, one crew member will be Dr. Sally Ride. We'll be back with a look at this pioneering woman in the news. <laughs> In the News is sponsored by Warner Brothers and Superman 3. When it's time for adventure, it's time for Superman. Alexander Salkheim presents Christopher Reeve and Richard Pryor in Superman 3. This time is going to be the best time of all. Thank you, friends. Superman 3, but it's easy. Now playing. Please check newspapers for a theater near you. And now, Dr. Sally Ride in the news. Sally Ride was 12 years old when the first woman, a Russian, went into space in 1963. Next week, if all goes as scheduled, Sally Ride will become the first American woman in space. She'll be one of five crew members on the space shuttle flight set for launch next Saturday. Sally Ride first got interested in science in junior high school. Later, she earned a doctor's degree in astrophysics, space science. In 1978, she was one of six women chosen to become astronauts. Her training took her into briefing rooms, the cockpit of a jet, underwater, and aboard a high-flying airplane where astronauts get a brief taste of weightlessness. Ride was also Capcom, or the land-based communicator, for two shuttle missions. Recently, much of her work has been in the shuttle simulator, a training version of the shuttle's interior. She's been working mostly with the shuttle's big remote-controlled arm, since using the arm will be her main job in space. As a teenager, Sally Ride was a very good tennis player. Billie Jean King once urged her to quit school and take up professional tennis. She quit tennis instead. And now her early love for science will take Sally Ride into history as America's first woman in space. I'm Christopher Glenn with the story of Dr. Sally Ride, astronaut in the news. <laughs>